Okay, so I wanted to make this video because um, when I was thinking about buying a car from Copart, probably the um, biggest worry I had uh, wasn't fixing the car, it was getting the title from a salvage title to a rebuild title after I fixed it. And uh, <clears throat> there's a lot, a ton of steps in that. So I'm gonna go over uh, two different ways to do this. I guess not two different ways. I live in Ohio and this car I bought at Copart in Pennsylvania. So this would be uh, the process for any car with a, a title outside of Ohio. Um, no matter where you buy the car, if you have a title that is not an Ohio title, uh, this would be the process. And I'll go over the process if you have a uh, Ohio salvage title also. It's a little bit different. There's a lot less steps um, to bring a salvage car from Pennsylvania, Michigan, Indiana, any any state surrounding Ohio, or um, if you buy it anywhere else and intend on changing it from uh, anywhere else title to a Ohio salvage title to a Ohio rebuilt title, this is going to be the process. This first one will go over if you have an Ohio uh, Ohio salvage title already and you're trying to get it to a rebuild status. So the first step, and uh, I didn't know this was the first step, so I didn't do it until uh, after I already had it fixed. But if I were to do this again, the first step when I went and got it on the trailer at Copart, I would have taken it straight to um, the BMV and had this done. You have to have a VIN number verification. So your first step is to have the VIN verified at either a BMV or a car dealer. Um, it's simple. They, the, I went to the BMV. They end up walking out, verifying the VIN number, filling out, uh, filling out a sheet, giving it to you, and then uh, you take that. Then you're able to take that to the courthouse. So that's five bucks, not very expensive. Then you got to go to the courthouse. And uh, whenever I bought the car from Copart, they didn't charge me state tax because um, I was switching it to an Ohio title. So I didn't pay any tax at Copart, but after you get the VIN verification, you go to the courthouse, you switch the title from a PA salvage title to an Ohio salvage title. At that point, you pay the, the uh, taxes on the vehicle. So uh, this was $3,100 uh, is what I won the auction for. And that is the, that that's what I paid the taxes on. Not all the extra fees from Copart, just the, the $3,100 that I won it for. So that total to get, um, to get a switch from a PA salvage title to an Ohio salvage title with taxes cost me $230. After that, I had to go back to the BMV. And uh, so step three is go back to the BMV and you have to pay $50 for a Ohio salvage inspection. So that, that will, um, that'll let you, that'll get you set up to take it to uh, the state police to have it inspected. So step four is go online uh, at the website that it'll give you on the salvage inspection receipt and schedule and complete the salvage inspection with the closest state police. Uh, there's, I think there's like seven or eight of them in the state of Ohio. I had to drive about an hour and 10 minutes to uh, past Warren, Ohio, which is, like I said, an hour and 10 minutes from me. Um, it was super simple. I kept the receipts. I bought a lot of the stuff off of eBay. Had I known, um, had I known about the stuff like needing receipts, I would have asked the seller to send a specific receipt to me, which they didn't in all these cases, but I printed out my, um, my receipts from uh, PayPal. It says they don't accept it, but I had other aftermarket parts also that I bought from a place called LKQ. And uh, I had all those receipts. 
I had a nine o'clock appointment. I got there at eight forty-five. They brought me in at nine fifty or eight fifty. I was out at nine o five. Super simple process. Got real nice answered. A uh, couple other questions I had uh, done in about ten minutes. I had all my all my you know all my receipts and everything though, so that maybe why it was you know went fast. After that, he signed my salvage inspection receipt. Uh, and then I had to go back to the courthouse again. And uh, at the courthouse, they switched my Ohio salvage title to an Ohio rebuilt title. That was $16 for the paperwork for for them to do the, the uh, title again. After that was completed, I have to go had to go back to the BMV again and pay for the plates and the registration for a car. It's $53. Uh, it's what you'd pay for any vehicle. So, uh, total for that, uh, to take it from a PA salvage title to an Ohio reconstructed title, uh, with all the stops was $354. Now that would differ for you if you pay more or less for the car because you have to pay, uh, taxes also on it. So it, it'll, it'll differ, but. What's going to stay the same is the Ohio VIN verification, Ohio salvage inspection, um, and the courthouse fees, and pretty much the plates and registration. So the $5, 50 55 uh, 71 and 53 So uh, about 100 and 100 and $120 you can uh, figure without taxes. So uh, I'll go through the steps real quick again. VIN verification, first step, BMV. Courthouse, title title PA to Ohio. BMV again for that salvage inspection. Step four is going to be the schedule and complete the, the inspection at the court or at the state police. Back to the courthouse, step five, step six, BMV for plates and registration. And you're good. Now, let's say you have an Ohio salvage title already. You wrecked your car, bought it back off the insurance company, um, or you bought it at a Ohio co-part. Um, at that point, if you already have the Ohio salvage inspection, um, or not, at that point, you already have the Ohio salvage title. Uh, you already own it, so you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay the, uh, the taxes again. So you don't have. So here's the steps. If you already have the Ohio salvage title, is you go to the BM. Step one is going to be going to the BMV for the salvage inspection receipt. It's fifty dollars. Step two is schedule and complete the state inspection with the uh, state police. Step three will be back to the courthouse to change your uh, Ohio salvage title to a reconstructed title, $16. And then to the BMV, step four, plates and registration. So $116 um, that's assuming taxes were already paid um, for the vehicle and you already have it in your name. If you do not have it, if you just have an Ohio salvage title in someone else's name and you have to switch it to yours, then it, the process would be the same other than you don't have to have a VIN verification because it's not an out of state vehicle. So like I said, this was one of the uh, things that I was the most worried about is, is, is the process of doing this. It's real simple. Um, it's not real simple. It is a, a lot of running back and forth um, and just complying with all these little steps that the state has put in place. Uh, once that's done, um, it was a lot of running and I got it done. I'm good to go. Now I have an Ohio R title for this. Um, my next video is going to talk about everything that went into this car to make it from a salvage title to a rebuilt title. 
cost wise all the parts I put in it so look for that video if you're interested in you know us interested in in the cost of uh, cost of this maybe you're thinking about getting into it um, I have real world costs on what it took to fix this so thank you for watching I hope this video helps you if it does please subscribe to my channel maybe hit the like button um, all of that helps me and I appreciate it Thanks for watching.